In the previous video, we've added two links to navigate back and forth between the home page and the about page. However, both these links appear the same irrespective of which route we are currently viewing. In practical web applications, it is common to style the link corresponding to the active route in a different way. This also benefits the user from a user experience point of view. Let's see how to style the active link in this video. What you should know is that React Router provides another component called NavLink, which knows whether or not it is the active link. We can use that component to style the active link in our navbar. So within navbar.js, at the top, instead of importing link, import navlink and replace the same in the JSX. What is special about this navlink component though, is that by default, it receives an active class when the link is the current route. If we head back to the browser and inspect the element, you can see class is equal to active on the home link. Click about and the class is applied to the about link. With this class, we can add some styles in our CSS. In index.css, I'm going to add some styling to the active class on an anchor element within the nav tag. We're going to set text decoration to none which basically removes the underline. And we are also going to set font weight to bold. If we take a look at the browser, you can see the active link is now styled differently. Home, there's no underline and it is bold. And the same with about. The active link style is now different. Of course, you might not be using plain CSS to style your React app. You might be using a CSS in JS solution. So let me also show how to make use of the active link with the style prop. I'm going to begin by commenting out the style we have just added. Back in navbar.js, I'm going to add the style prop on both nav links and set it to a function called nav link styles. Let's define this function. const navlink styles is equal to an arrow function. But it just so happens navlink component will set a property called is active, which can be destructured from this function parameter. So curly braces to destructure a property called is active. Is active will be set to true if the link is indeed the current route. So we can use this to conditionally apply styles. Let's apply the same styles as before, but this time with JavaScript. So we're going to return an object where we set font weight depending on is active. If it is the active link, font weight is going to be bold else it is going to be normal. Similarly, text decoration, depending on is active flag, is going to be none if it is indeed the active route. If not, it is going to be underline. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, refresh, you can see we have the same result. About is the active link, and now home is the active link. So to set a different style on the active link, make use of the navlink component. You can either make use of the active class that is applied or the is active boolean flag injected into the style function. Now you might be wondering, why would I use the link component that we had seen earlier instead of the navlink component? Well, the navlink component is specifically meant for building components like a navbar or breadcrumbs, 
or a set of tabs where you would like to highlight the current selected item and provide useful context with screen readers. If you want to navigate to routes from other parts of the app, link should be the component to use as you wouldn't want the active class being applied when it is not needed. All right, now that we understand how to navigate to different routes on click of a UI element, in the next video, let's learn how to navigate programmatically.